What is up everybody? Today we are gonna put the head back on the block. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Before we get too far into it, Jesse said I wouldn't remove my power steering pump. But you saw it. Exactly, because I'm a big baby. Um, so I'm gonna prove him wrong and have to get a manual rack. Jesse said I wouldn't, but I did. Look, now there's just nothing. This whole head gasket escalated pretty quickly. Now that the power steering pump is out and I'm committed to getting an AW11, which gives you more angle. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> While the head's off, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. It's like the water connector between the block and the head. I have a new one. I'm gonna pull this out, put this one in. You can just replace the O-rings, but I went ahead and bought a new one. It wasn't very expensive, and now's the time to replace it, so let's do that. I got that water bypass off. This is the old one. Nasty, old, new. And now is really the only time you can replace it, so might as well. Installed, good to go. So now we, I guess, put the head back on. What could go wrong? All right, look at that, shiny and new. I went ahead and hand tightened all of the head bolts. Next, I'm gonna to torque them in a series of uh, different torques. Some people do, I believe it's 22 and then 90 degrees, 90 degrees. I'm gonna do something along the lines of um, like 10, 25, 40, 44, and we should be good. So I'll insert a diagram of the order right here. And now I'm actually gonna go ahead and torque these down and be done. It's on. Torqued down to spec and should be good to go. Putting the head on really isn't that difficult. The difficult part is getting to the point where you pull the head off and after you put the head on, putting the intake, the exhaust, the cans, distributor, everything back on so that you can drive it. Pretty simple to bolt and torque down the head. So that's it for this video. Torquing the head is very important. You don't want it to get warped. You don't want it to seat funny because then you're gonna be taking the head back off. So make sure you double check your specs and the head gasket and everything like that. Make sure your surfaces are good. So take your time with it. It's very important to make sure you do it correctly so you don't have to take it all apart again. If you did find this video helpful, please like the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. It'll also let you be updated on more of the Corolla things. The next step is, well, I'll show you. I have the intake back from getting cleaned, um, cleaning up a little bit of the inside, but we're gonna go ahead and paint that, get that ready to put back on. That'll be the next step is getting the intake side on. Then we'll do the exhaust side, cams, everything like that, and that's it really. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Like I said, please make sure to like the video, subscribe, leave any comments if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good bike.